Without much delay, please welcome Mr. Louis Sebastian to give his opening address. Thank you very much, Linda Mustafa. She is actually one of our board members. Today she's helping us again. So let's give her a big hand. For an impressive morning, today has been a very cold morning. We just like to say thank you very much for the presence here today. Yang Rahman, Dr. Maria Shiri, Chairman of Housing Local Government Tourism and Terra. We have uh, friends from the tourism sector. We have our designers, all the way from Penang, who's also here with us today. Our media partners, who's very much supportive of our project since 2017, we thank you for being present. And we also like to say a very special thank to all of you here today. In fact, a big thank goes up to STG and the great team for Kenny and his friends for supporting this wonderful press conference venue. So let's give them a big hand. In fact, the International Equal Fashion Week is an award winning international fashion event. In 2021, we were recognized as the Fashion Week of the Year in Malaysia. So I think that, that's the big thing that we really want to thank everybody. And this year, season 4.0, supported and endorsed by Perra State Government. Tourism Era, Tourism Malaysia. We also like to thank much as other EPO and other state agencies. We extend a warm welcome to all our supporting players, media, and partners. Your physical support is tremendously appreciated, and as for our media friends and partners, your coverage and publications will truly put an impact and awareness as you welcome the world of the waters of Era. Thank you. In fact, we are different because we do fashion with the heart. And fashion tourism, because fashion the heart of fashion tourism covers a traveling, fun, study, birthday fashion, also corporate social responsibility. This year is going to be held for six days, from the 20th to the 25th of October, which includes a mini fashion exhibition by some exhibitors from Indonesia. We'll do a mini fashion uh, exhibition at Casarina Maru. We'll be also having a fashion symposium, which is on the, as you can see, the big sign is here. On the 20th of October, fashion symposium is also at the Kashmir and Maru. And then there will be also a, a fan trip to showcase our popular tourist spots, arts, 
own culture. We will feature exclusive lineup fashion designers and celebrities from Malaysia. We also have fashion labels from Singapore, India, Indonesia, and all of the Middle East. Lebanon has actually just contacted us. They'll get back to us in the next few days. If we have that confirmed, then they also on board. So we have one from Middle East as well. Thank you. Uh, as for the models, we have a total of 40 females and 10 male models, international models, who will take the fashion runway in Malaysia. And we'll also be supported by media trends. India, Nepal, and Indonesia. So we have to thank our international media partners for supporting our project. In fact, we have some of the top names in media, Fashion Herald, and all that. They are actually part of our media partners for this IMWC report. International Eco Fashion Week has taken a ride in energy of its own since it was inaugurated five years ago. The strong response towards IMW recognition for Fashion of the Week Award will enhance further our total commitment. We have flourished, ultimately becoming not only a forum for individual designers, but also an opportunity for young creators to set up how the generation sees things. In fact, the aim is to capacitate and empower local fashion designers, facilitate market and young opportunities, and to ensure growth and sustainability of their businesses. The increase in intake of faculty, this is very good, because after what we have done, we have an increase in intake of faculty of art and design at University Technology and Morris to discover. About 100% increase in terms of the intake for fashion. And this is a positive sign for our ongoing effort towards creating a fashion hub in the state of Europe and to become a world class fashion reference sector. So, UITM, I think later if you want to know more about this, you can have a chat with Khalid. He's here with us. Thank you. The exclusive Red Cup and Open Charity Gala dinner is scheduled on the 21st of October. At Kashuna Maru. It will be graced by uh, Royal Highness Rajat Maisuri Perak from Kuzara Salih, members of the Perak Royal family, foreign ambassadors, celebrities, and performers of the local international stage. This is in line with our corporate social responsibility and effort to the platform to generate funds for the benefit of Hospital Rajat Maisuri Finance, who are taking passive care unit, and Perak Food Bank. So we urge all organizers to take up our sponsorship packages. I was told that we have four exclusive sponsorship packages this year diamond at 70,000, which includes table for impact, platinum at 50,000 relations ringgit, gold at 30,000, silver 20,000. We also have individual tables at 10,000 and 5,000 relations ringgit. So, this is in fact the appeal for support from all who certainly enable us to make a valuable contribution to partner with us to make miracles happen in the lives of these children and their families. So, a brief overview of the full thing. On the 20th of October, there will be a fashion symposium and mini exhibition at Cashman in Maru. 21st October, Red Carpet Charity Gala Dinner, embraced by our Royal Highness. 22nd October, we'll have a fashion runway showcase at Ipo Old Town. And then the 23rd, there will be a closing showcase at Bulatan Sultan Aztan Shah. The, the, the 22nd at Old Town and Bulatan is actually open to public, so it's free of charge. Please tell your friends to come and support our project. Thank you. I'm optimistic that. From the and from the continuous support from Kerala State Government, Tourism, Kerala, Majid Mandari, Port for Malaysia, but that people enhance the talent, its need to bring a fine market to fashion event in Malaysia. The response and support received from Indonesia is overwhelming. In fact, I was told that on the, on the 16th of July, which is just a few days from now, we will be some of the board members will be traveling to Jakarta, Indonesia, for about a week under the wings of the Portugal Eye of Tourism in Malaysia. For model casting and designers selection, they want us to go there to select models and designers because we were told that uh, it's actually a great opportunity to learn our experience and to showcase IMW in the eye of the world. Only 15 models and six top designers will be selected from the many applications received in Indonesia. They, everybody in Indonesia, all the fashion designers want to come to Perak, but we have to limit them to only six designers and 15 models because we have. Other models from Nepal, from Iran, from India, from Bangladesh, and of course some of our local models too. And then apart from that, they will also announce during a joint press conference on the 20th of July, there will be a press conference in Indonesia, Jakarta, which I will be personally there to see it through. And this is the only time to also promote local tourism to, the, to Jakarta. So once again, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude and thanks to Wayne Castle Noli, 
who has been very encouraging. I mean, in terms of her support and time, we really want to give her a big round of applause for all her support. Thank you very much. And of course, to our friends, our tourism friends, we have Adoli Osman, who's, who's taking time to come with us today. Thank you, Dato, for being with us today. And I also like to thank Mr. Alvin. He's the one who's involved with SPD. He supported our <laughs> wedding. Thank you, Alvin. And of course, our, our wonderful board members. You see all the, the wonderful board members, right? from Maggie, to Paul, to Ibu Pelli, to Joel, and uh, Alec, and all that. So we have the whole, the whole team here. And we just want to thank them for actually supporting us throughout this journey since 2017. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, our donors and our sponsors. In fact, so far we have one sponsor, a silver sponsor from KLK Kapo. Thank you very much for the spring house sponsorship. Thank you, KLK Kapo. And uh, like I said last but not least, my hope that the fashion industry keeps on being great so that the younger generation keep on being inspired. We like clothes to wear well. We dream of clothes that impress. We design clothes that make us aggressively gorgeous. With this final word, I hereby thank God for making the impossible possible. Thank you for being part of another year of a fabulous fashion week with the comeback of Carab's very own award-winning international equal fashion week 4.0. Always believe in magic of a new beginning. Fashion with the heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Now, we would like to bring your attention to a video taken for our third season in 2019. This video was taken at the pediatric intensive care unit of Hospital Raja Kumpan Bayu here in Ipoh. Sadly, due to the current situation of COVID, we will not be able to film another later version of the video for this season. Please draw your attention. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank IIFW for this opportunity for me to extend our gratitude for this continuous collaboration and for sharing the aspiration for all children. Ministry of Health has been continuously supporting and providing the sweet necessary equipment. However, the demand has been escalating and the use has been very high. The replacement in progress. Therefore, to meet the need, IIFW have come forward and has been working with us. In 2019, before pandemic, the donation has been pouring in and we are so delighted to be told that we will give the equipment that we have been wanting. We get two non-invasive ventilators, warmer unit, infant warmer, and also AEG machine. In future, we are looking for forward, not just for HRPB Ipo, but all children in Perak, which is in Tulintan, Manjo, Taiping, and also Slim River. So we hope that we will continue to share this aspiration. Let's work together. Thank you very much. IFW has always gave the support from our local government and especially to also from the Tourism Board of Terra. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yang Berbahagia, Dato Noli Ashley Binti, Dato Raji, to see a few words. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you to Tanda as the MC for today. Colin Cup, she's my senior in school. <laughs> I wouldn't tell them how much of a senior age we have almost the same age. Very senior. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, Mr. Louise, the founder and CEO of IFW, and the board of directors. Too many to mention today. Uh, we also have with us Tanto uh, Osman, Pengurusi Satuan Lanchungan de Dupera, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, of course. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. Uh, I would like to start off uh, with saying it's a good point. If you have a closet full of clothes but not a single thing to wear, 
this life, right? Am I always experienced from the morning? Perhaps we just need some inspiration. So therefore, the stage is set for Equal Malaysia's grandest fashion week, International Equal Fashion Week, IFW 2022, which will be attended by celebrities, fashion media, fashion buyers, and lovers of fashion all over the world, and in Ipoh especially. Um, I was told that the will event, uh, which has been held since 2017, if I'm not mistaken, and I had the privilege to be with the team as well. Um, it was actually put into a hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and the last one was in 2019, and now we are on to the fourth edition. And I'm really looking forward to this because it is planned to be better and grander. So please give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen, for the story and producing another IFW for our beloved state of uh, Pera and also our city of Ipoh. Ladies and gentlemen, as you well know, uh, as Mr. Louis has shared with you, uh, the event as will be scheduled from the 20th to 23rd of October 2022 in Ipoh. Yeah? We have many things for Ipoh, City of Millionaires, Buddha Villa City, Silver Valley here. Yeah? And this is actually an opportunity, especially for the fashion tourism, which is a niche market segment involving out of three major sectors, which is creative tourism, cultural tourism, and shopping tourism. Fashion tourism can now be defined as the interaction between destination marketing organizations, trade associations, tourism suppliers, and host committees with people traveling to and fro, visiting a particular place for business or for leisure, either to enjoy, discover, study, trade, communicate about, and also consume fashion. Fashion design now, ladies and gentlemen, play an equally important role in other artistic fields. I think Mr. Louis has also elaborated on that, yeah? Fashion shows today have crossed uh, the glamorous ramps and carpets of the popular dress designers. The growing global interest in modest fashion show is redesigning the fashion model power map and has an important bearing, especially on our economy, which contributes to our international standing in the world's fashion stage. With a two-prong objective of showcasing Para of Malaysia based fashion talent globally, and at the same time, we are welcoming the world to the wonders of Para of Malaysia. IIFW season 4.0, I believe, will help boost tourist arrivals to Malaysia as we showcase our culture, food, and popular tourist destinations. We have our neighbors looking to invest and spend some of its resources on style, Pera has many of the right ingredients to succeed in its mission. Ladies and gentlemen, the true, ge true generosity is also an offering given freely and out of pure love. Time and love are also the most valuable possession that we can share. Uh, contribution uh, by the sales of tables, yeah, as Mr. Stewie said, will be a great help for these children and their families at Piku Hospital, Raja Bumai Sri and also the Barak Bank. This will be raised through the charity uh, Dala Dina, which will be held on the 31st of October 2022. Um, contributing to Piku, just for this to share, is very close to my heart as well, because my second child is actually a premature baby, and she was also awarded to Piku for about more than a week. So it is very, very important that we also contribute and help, our, especially our general health departments, to provide enough services, enough uh, incubators for those children uh, who are in need. And uh, at the moment, the current moment, as I'm made aware of, uh, is not enough, the number of incubators. So therefore, this charity gala dinner, besides, yeah, uh, being a key event in us showcasing the fashion, uh, trendy fashion of Ipo, Pera and our partners will be very important in terms of us raising the funds to increase or to contribute in those um, what is needed by the PQ Ward. So I applaud uh, their efforts because that's obviously their key focus. Not just to have the fashion industry here but also to do charity for Pera and uh, Malaysia overall. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, um, as Mr. Lewis has mentioned,
The IIFW 4.0 will be staged quite frequently and in a grander way. I'm actually very, very impressed with the way that they have brought out fashion from uh, being just a fashion show within the closed confined space in a hotel to the outdoors for the public. Now, this is what we want to impress to the younger generation or to the community as a whole. Fashion is not just for a certain group of people, but it's actually to be enjoyed by all. I was told that there will be a mini exhibition by the Indonesian um, fashion distributors from the 20th to 23rd of October. We will have a symposium run by Encik Khalid, one of our board of directors as well. And uh, I was told there will be a specific fashion show as well, made by UTM, eh? Sri Skandar and College Community Batu Baja. That's involved with the local partners. And this is very important because in tourism, we want the local stakeholders to get the benefit, not just from our partners or from our guests from abroad or from other states. So I am very interested as well to see how they will run the outdoor fashion runaway, especially in Jalan Banda Dima in Old Town. I'm still trying to imagine it, uh, imagine it how, how it's going to be unfolding on that day. And subsequently, the closing ceremony in Bulatan Aman Jaya. So that is indeed a very, very grand stage, uh, grand show to stage. And I hope that all of you will be as excited as I am and uh, to actually see this unfolding uh, before our eyes. I'm sure that Tok Usma will be one of the very first in the line. As usual, Tok, we salute you now. Fashion show lah. So we both share the same fashion here. <laughs> so let's see what's, the, the, what's going to happen over uh, in October. And I believe that this will not only boost the tourism numbers, uh, but more importantly, it will put people on the world or uh, on the map of the fashion world. Lastly, I would like to take this opportunity to again thank Mr. Lewis and his creative team who has persevered to put IIFW as where it is today. Thank you very much also to my friends from the media because without your support, we cannot get the right coverage and the right numbers to come and enjoy this event together. So, I would like to uh, again thank you everyone here. Together we are better. And again, thank you very much to all. Thank you. Thank you. I must tell you, in 2019, the street fashion was endless. I had fun. I really have fun. Yeah, as the past CEO, you can take it from me, okay? <laughs> the floor is now open for any questions from the media, from the from our guests, if there's any. Please be free to ask. As you know, among the Muslim community, they are all uh, into hijab uh, fashion. Maybe there is one part of it where, uh, of course, operators of this hijab, designers, like you can get Nilo or whatever, the whole company can come and have one section of your fashion show. I'm sorry, I don't need to your program, but this is an idea. Uh, uh, I think Mr. Luis will answer to that. Actually, the two, in 2019, we had Indonesia, they embraced the hijab fashion. And this year, we will be preparing for the hijab. So, we actually catered for a wide range of groups, right, from the hijab to the model to the casual. So, it covers all that. So, thank you for the video. We had our local designer also in 2019, Sharifah Tirana, also in Hijab. Thank you. Any more questions from the floor? Uh, hi, uh, good morning. I'm from Red Cup Sibitan. My question is for Khalid. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the symposium? What what's constitutes in the symposium and how do one go to the symposium? Okay, hi. Good morning. 
uh, on behalf of our team. Okay. Uh, for this year, I think a special occasion from IFW. Uh, I think this is something injection DNA uh, to do a special symposium. I have done this uh, Actually, uh, this session, this was a, a sharing session with our panel. Uh, of course, a different background, uh, especially from education backgrounds, uh, designer, and also uh, a model, uh, one of the model was the part, and sharing uh, the topic, uh, special topic, uh, especially uh, from UITF, uh, college uh, community, and design from Indonesia also, and also from uh, uh, models, uh, one of the models, uh, take a part and give uh, some uh, knowledge and a sharing session. Uh, and I think it's, uh, you can feel free and set your date come to the uh, what? <laughs> 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 yeah. When I first met Encik Khalid, I, I was so impressed. And he got the same surname. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> another thing is that he has built UITM, the design faculty, to a, such a great height. You can see the designs from something that, um, you know, something that I didn't know where that, but it's a design, you know, it's something for us to imagine. It's, sometimes you see on the walk, we are not going to do it, those, you know, funky hairstyle from uh, Alex uh, Avangard hairstyle, you know? but it's part of fashion, is it? Any more questions? Yes, Andy. How many designers are we expecting? And when we talk about fashion, do we have like shoe designers, bag accessories? Uh, right. In total, we have about six international designers and three local designers. Okay. So the reason why we have to limit ourselves to a certain amount of designers because the charity that I know we have a time frame because yeah. we have more. You have to start at 8 p.m. and finish at 10 p.m. Anything about that, you will be perfect. <laughs> so, so that's why we, in fact, you've given the choice. There's so many designers out there who want to participate. So, we have to limit ourselves to just six. That is, at the moment, we're looking at nine designers. And, uh, and of course, uh, the, as far as the models are concerned, we have a mostly models for both local and international designers. Thank you. I think, Mr. Luis, this year we are having something to do with uh, accessories. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. Sorry, um, accessories is basically by Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Lee, right? And he also has Andy over here. Maybe he wants to target the question directly to him, and he will be able to answer you. Yes. I see. So you've got the designers, you've got the designers here. Yeah. Hi, Joseph. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kenny Lo. I'm from Kidane. I'm from Baba Nonia Families. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for having me for this uh, IIF uh, for you. Because uh, I feel that for Nonia Tobias and Nonia Leadership need to be featured. Uh, why can say that? Why need to be featured? Because this is our Malaysia identity. And then we, we have the best quality of the workmanship for our Tobias and Leadership. So we just need a platform to introduce to the international platform so that people know what we have in Malaysia. And then to answer the question, yes, this year I'm going to bring my Peter shoes to the fashion show too. So beside the non to buy us, in the shoes that do, I will also feature a non inspired fashion, which is a, a ready to wear and also casual uh, fashion to the Show. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Actually, I love Pranakan. Yes. I collect all your Pranakan groupings and whatnot. 
I have actually, uh, let me see a bit ago, started to do some footwear or shoes. I did, but uh, I didn't get to do the shoe because I do not know how to do the shoe. Okay? But uh, I have a little bit of collection and uh, it is very impressive. It is impressive. I see some of my mom's clothes. I think Agnes also cannot wear. Okay? <laughs> Yes, it's very impressive though that part to me, you know. And um, I think uh, maybe you can have something for me to wear for that night. <laughs> it's a plus plus size. <laughs> okay, any more questions? Uh, so it seems to you have two outdoor activities. Your final uh, lovely show is uh, the Bulata Bhutan and Rancha. Uh, it's a very popular location. Tell us a bit more about that. In fact, for the last three years, since 2017, we have been in the 2018-19, it was actually at Boston, the government. This year, we wanted to do something different because we felt that the Bulatan is actually an attraction by itself. I mean, it's an amazing Bulatan. But whenever we, we go there, we see children, the families, Get together, so it's about time we, we also showcase some of our passion, like what I told the state. Passion is not only for the adults, not only for the, the teens, but also for the kids. So, we, we will be creating a, a variety of passion for all of them who's, who's there that night. And in fact, we also will bring in some celebrities, artists. We have Ivan Dalit with us this year. In fact, we're talking with Indonesia. Initially, they asked us who we want to bring, who is artists, so I, I, I did test that many people say we have the head because they know to subscribe that. <laughs> but but they, they, they are not happy, they are bringing us an artist from Indonesia, a popular artist, which we will know when we are in Jakarta. So the names will be revealed once we are in Jakarta for the press conference. So this is actually a way of us promoting PR to the world and also doing something for the local community, especially for the people that are Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about the hair show this year? Is it going to be cow? Maybe you can share with us a little bit. So, um, we should in the uh, last uh, year, so we, it's more opening we do the for the Avangar hair show with a uh, fine model. And uh, the question we try to put with uh, Bali so from uh, the uh, Thank you. Any more questions that uh, the floor would like to ask? I think I could just say very interesting. Yes, it is interesting. I've been with them with this team from 2017. It's getting more and more interesting as each of the text now and now. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> now, uh, if there's no more questions, uh, if there are no more questions here, we'd like to thank the media and to everyone here who has made this press conference uh, success. Kindly uh, adjourn to the to the back there for some light refreshments. Thank you once again. Sorry. Oh, okay. There will be a photography session after this. Thank you once again to everyone. Do take care and stay safe always. Thank you.